what is up guys welcome back to another video um so as you can tell it is a little rainy out here today so today we're gonna be doing something inside um so we got another warrior again um we got a warrior and this one i'm going to be fixing up basically doing everything i did with the last one but it's only going to be cut into like two, three, maybe four videos because you base you guys basically know everything that I did because I showed you guys the whole process. So what I basically going to do is I'm going to tell you what I'm doing, do it, and then I'll like pick you guys back up and then show you what I've what I finished and how it looks. I don't know any colors yet. I haven't seen it yet except for pictures I have to wait until my dad gets home he should be getting home any minute now um, waiting for him to get home because he has the quad on his truck so we're basically just gonna wait until he gets home and then I'll pick you guys back up um, basically when he's here <coughs> alrighty guys he just pulled in so we're gonna walk to the basement and see what it looks like Alrighty guys, okay, so we got it here, and it's sitting here, there is front plastic here, we sat it over there because there is a bunch of oil in there, because it was sitting under there, underneath the quad, and it does not have a starter, so it just came out of the engine, let's get a good look at it. Alrighty, so now we're up in the truck here, um... These wheels are kind of cool. They look pretty cool. Um, the hood piece right here is painted black. And all of these, like, fin-looking things are ripped out of it. It has a stock exhaust. I mean, doesn't look too bad. Except for it's really dirty. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard to clean up bunch of random colors here to me it looks like they tried to spray paint these shocks while I was on the quad because there's a bunch of blue in here and down in there um, but yeah also back here we have a box of parts and stuff there's a battery there's a rear master cylinder the back brakes, there's a starter, there's a carburetor, there's a boot in here for the carburetor to the engine. Um, so yeah, just a couple miscellaneous parts. Um, but yeah, let's get it off the truck and get it inside and see what, what else we're dealing with. So right now we're going to start tearing into it. We're going to take off the some of the plastics and the air box. Just a couple different things to get it ready to go up on the stand and t start taking everything off. So let's get straight into the time lapse. Let's go. So now that the um, plastics are off and a couple things are off the quad, we are going to spray down the, the plastics and then we're going to wash them up um, with soap and water and then we are going to um, use some Comet and um, try and get a bunch of the dirt and grime off of it so it's not looking horrible. Um, because they're white plastics, obviously, and they're gonna get stained and stuff. So you gotta gotta get them back to clean and stuff. So we're gonna head straight into the time lapse of just cleaning up plastic. So let's let's get straight into it. Woo!
Hey guys, so this is the full look down of the whole thing. It's up on the cart already. Um, so we got the plastic cleaned up and I put it in the back room so for storing it. So basically what we're going to do is um, gonna like clean everything up as we're taking apart we're gonna make a list of things that are broken on this thing or need replaced there is this ball joint this ball joint down there but just several other things that we need replaced and basically we're just gonna go through everything and make sure it's okay but as I'm already looking around it, I can tell there's a bunch of things missing. Looks like there's a bolt broken off right in there. There's a couple missing ones all the way around this outside of this case. Um, this is all rusted up, but that doesn't matter because we have a new one and stuff. Um, but this is also a different year. We did not know what year it is. The guy we got it off of didn't know, but... Just a bunch of different things that we have to get done to it, so I'm going to send you guys straight into a time lapse, and we're going to um, basically just start tearing into this thing. We're going to take all the suspension off and uh, just take everything down to nothing and build it up again. So let's get right into it. Okay guys, so we just um, got the pressure washer out and cleaned it all off, took it off our table here. I have no clue if my face is like all wet and covered with oil and greasy stuff because pressure washer kept spraying it at my face and stuff, like I'm soaking wet. But pressure washer's done and it's just sitting here in the sun to dry. And basically, as soon as we finish doing that, it should be ready to grind all of the junky paint off. I feel like the most annoying part to get off will be all of this. I don't know if y'all can see it, but all of this blue paint. There's a bunch of random blue paint on there. But I hope it's pretty easy to get off. Just rough it up and make sure it's all off to paint it and then... We got a lot of work ahead of us to um, clean all of this up, but this is going to be annoying part. Look how much grease and oils on there. I think I'm going to take them out there too and clean them all up because look at all this. But yeah, so basically that's what we're doing. So I'll see what we're doing. Um, probably going to go take them out there, but let's just see. Okay guys, so we got the engine off, um, everything is off now, um, my dad's grinding the, um, the exhaust apart, we kind of made a mess here, we got to clean up, but, um, yeah, got the engine apart, we're gonna have to, um, basically just take it apart and see what it's happening, but we gotta clean everything up, and the frame and stuff, so yeah. Okay guys, so we got a ton of stuff done. I can't really show you it. I'll show you it real here, here real soon. So, I got a bunch of my parts out here that I had from my other warrior. Um, so, I'm probably going to have to use these A-arms here and not the ones that I got with this one. Because these ones, these ball joints are bad. 
and all of these have a bunch of room in them right there but these ones do don't do not have a bunch of wiggle room in them and their ball joints are good so I'm probably gonna have to clean all this up and um, get that rolling um, so basically up here this this bar we're gonna have to use because this one on the frame here is junked up and it's not even the right bar well it might be but yeah we're gonna use this one because it looks much nicer um but here it is this whole frame is done I got the back swing arm done I got this front bumper done it's stock one and it's really beat up um, I got this one this um, foot peg done I got the steering shaft and stuff done basically if I wanted to I could put the whole rear end together um, these that piece the only thing I wouldn't be able to put on is this the carrier back here I can't get this giant nut off here by myself um, so I'll have to help get somebody to help me with that then take that off and then this will come off and I can pull this off and then this off pull all that stuff off then the axle will be free clean all that stuff up and basically it'll be a lot better so this part right here see how it's all rusted up and it's like gonna like fall off and stuff um, we don't want it to be like that, so what we're going to do is cut it off the other frame, cut this one off as well, and then weld the other good one on here, so it's not all junked up, but this is going to be lots of time, but I'm already getting through it pretty, pretty quickly, um, just list, this is my list of parts, that one and that one. That I have to do. Um, surprisingly, both sprockets, this little one and the big one, are both good. The teeth aren't rounded off, um, but this engine's in pretty bad shape. Um, we're gonna have to do some work on it um, because there's obviously missing bolts there. There's one broken off. I think I said that already, but. Uh, it's something's messed up inside the engine and it wasn't running right it won't start up um we also have to get a new one of these because it's cracked it's all dry rotted but i know you can't see it but it is um so that's basically all for this part um i just need tons of stuff i need throttle cable I need clutch cables, I need just a bunch of stuff, and but I think that's going to be all for this uh, week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Woo.